Hey, it's Gary from GreaterSkills.com. Today we're going to be pulling apart a uh, Rochester Quadrajet carburetor off a big block um, 454 marine engine. Uh, it's been sitting for a while. It's It's got uh, something in it that looks like oil. I think it's the remnants of the gasoline that was in there. And uh, we're going to start by pulling the throttle plate off, get the linkage disconnected from the accelerator pump, We'll pull the linkage off the other side over here for the choke and the, uh, the secondary and um, pull the bowl apart or get the access to the bowl and we'll see what it looks like inside. So to get the throttle plate off, it's these two screws here and there's two screws on the bottom. So get a little Torx here and start tearing it apart. Pretty good, nothing's too frozen here. Oops. Okay, it's a throttle plate. Linkage comes out like that. Oh yeah. You can see it's quite gummed up in there. Screw out here. Disconnect the vacuum line to the secondary. Linkage comes off like that. Got the accelerator pump shaft was was frozen. I actually put a screwdriver down and tapped it a little with a hammer and shoved it down. It doesn't want to come back up. It's probably all corroded around the top where it goes in. This one out here. Merc Cruiser tag number. That number is uh, important. At least I'm not sure about this carburetor, but on all the carburetors, it's important to get the right kit for it, so you don't want to lose the tag. Tap here and there. Choke plate off too. That's for the jets. Uh, yeah, they have to come out as well. It's been a while since I did one of these. Probably around ooh, 10 years actually. Oh, 
shaft. I'll have to pull that out as well. well lubricated <laughs> gasoline turned to oil that's pretty good you will be able to clean these up I was thinking there's a lot worse in there even the cup for the accelerator pump will probably be able to re, uh, reuse once we clean uh, just clean that out I think this carb is going to be more of a, a cleanup than a complete rebuild Gas go up here and see what it looks like inside the bowl. Oh yeah, it's a mess. That's what happens to gasoline when it sits. <laughs> Turns to whatever that is. But uh, actually it may have protected the inside of the car. I thought it was going to be all white and full corrosion, but it's not too bad. So we'll uh, we'll clean this all up, clean out all the jets, and we'll put it back together. I'll show you how to get these, uh, the jets out of here. Just take a screwdriver there, right down there. It's the main jets. Well, aside from the varnish in them, they're they're pretty clean. I think there's a ball under this for the accelerator pump, if I remember correctly. Not totally sure. Yep. Steel ball. And that's pretty much as far as we can go, well, except for the uh, the filter housing. It's just a one-inch wrench, which I got. It's around here somewhere. I got to find it. But uh, you just unscrew this. There's a filter in there. That's a maintenance item anyway, even if you're not rebuilding your carburetor. Uh, when you maintain these things and you want to change a filter, you got to take that out, get the filter out of there and change it. And that's it.